Here is the overview of this debate. Me winning by seven points, and the con winning by jack shit. First, let's read the rounds. Here's my first one. The roast game is pretty simple. First, ask any family member what is special about a holiday roast. The family member would have the tendency to guess assumptively ham, turkey, beef. You say no to the family member. Then you ask them who or what do you think is special. The family member says, I believe that children are special. You respond, so you eat children for a Christmas roast. The family member would freak out at you because he knew that the family ate children and he is surprised that you knew it too. The whole point of this game is to get your point across, which is the idea that the family eats children as their Christmas roast. And you interview and prove your common knowing and realizing of the idea or tradition that families have. If they freak out, they already admitted it. Here's my source. This is my source. And here's the con's first argument. I literally have no clue uh, what this is supposed to be about. Nothing that the person who is pro for says posted makes any sense to me, nor the person who attempted to explain it to me. That's that. Oops. Here is my second round. It does make sense, but you don't understand it. It's a psychological will tester, testing their will to tell the truth. Like asking them what is special about a holiday roast, and them guessing a re as a response ham, chicky, ch chicken, turkey, and beef. You tell them no because they don't realize the point you're trying to get their heads because they think they can get away with eating children, but suddenly you ask them another question like, who or what do you think is special? Then they answer with this response. Children! And believing that children are special, which you, which you respond to that with, so you guys eat children as your Christmas roast. Which gets them to freak out. This whole topic is about getting your whole point across. And at the same time, proving... Pro province the truth and which I did with that long comment I made in the comment section below I made my point clear so vote for pro here's the cons last round you know what this was a pointless confusing stupid debate and I don't honestly care if I lose there I said it now let's look at the comments Starting all the way down to number 11. Alright. Alright. Okay. <laughs> it's taken me a long time. Oh, okay. Alright. Pointy Delta starts the commentary with What? Then Maharman. What are you even debating here? Jim Shady, again with this shit. Me, at Maharman, a new debate topic which falls in the bounds of logic just by asking questions. I have proven it in another website. <laughs> that quotation mark was supposed to be a dot before the word first in my first argument. Then Power Pikachu 21 enters in with Your opening example, it's just a jump to a ridiculous conclusion. I'm not really sure if I'll accept this debate. I'll think about it, but you'll have to show me some evidence in the comments section to convince me to discuss this. I respond, I already have evidence that I have proven it. Here's my long, long comment I referenced in my argument. Here, let me explain this. My first round wasn't a 
jump to a ridiculous conclusion. It was just a compulsively convincingly logical theory and conclusion. It makes logical sense because when you ask a family member these questions, you get the sense that the family member is assuming that I don't know what they were eating, making excuses like guessing average roast meats like ham, turkey, or chicken. Then he faces your sudden answer, no, which gives him a sign that he is just making, it, making excuses to escape the question and to carry on with life. The roast game is just a psychological mind tester. It tests the human will to tell the truth. Accept the debate. It'll be fun, okay? Asides, it is easily provable by the fact that the roast game itself is easy proof that families were eating their own children after slaughtering them. After they slaughtered them, they did this process where they skinned the children, take out any fecal matter or anything inedible to family humans, slice the right meat parts off like the roast meat, Debacterialize the meat, season it, then cook it. After cooking it, they eat the children. That is my proof. Which is the logical explanation of the truth that is found out in the roast game. Which, to be honest, is absolutely motherfucking mind-blowing. So let's do it. It'll be fun. It's okay, I'll challenge this to someone else. Since he was wasting my fucking time. Read the next comments. <laughs> Yana girl 136 responds, Um, first off, what the heck? Second off, can you please explain this to me? And I explain this, which is the same thing I said before. Then I respond, I know I've said this twice, but that other time I said it to someone else. She responds, Dang, you really want my head to hurt, don't you, okay? I'll try. I respond to her, Okay, I'm patiently waiting. And then she responds with, Seriously trying to bow this, bounce this in school? And I'm like, okay. She goes, How is this a debate? It sounds, um, well. I respond, Just post your argument. I don't care if you're afraid of losing or not. Just do it. Then she responds, Bruh, I'm not afraid to lose. I'm busy. A concept I don't expect you to understand. Going on to the next. All right, let's go to the next. Whoops. And I respond, and stop calling me bruh. It is annoying. I can't help it, bruh. I, it's what I call like everyone. And I respond, just post your argument, okay? It's not that hard. She responds, what are you doing right now, bruh? Because I'm like busy, so give me a break here. And I was like, okay. And she's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. You said this before. And she says, okay, now explain that to me again exactly what I'm supposed to be arguing, uh, debating about, because I am still confused. <sighs> Cherry Palm goes, it's about the roast game and how it proves that families were eating children as the Christmas roast. You're just a con to argue as you can against that. She responds, Pfft, bruh, okay? And I respond, I'll just wait for you to argue. Or for you to argue. Sorry about that spelling error. Thanks to Cherry Palm 